let us see how to obtain parity check matrix when the generator matrix is given and this uh, I feel you should remember or by heart these generator matrix and parity check matrix because mostly 7 comma 4 cyclic codes are you are asked in the university exams and we know we have already de derived it so if gx is x cube plus x plus 1 the generator matrix is this one it is in the form i k p k into n you have to remember this i k p k into n that means first is a i identity matrix of dimension 4 then parity bits then k is the dimension uh, rows of generator matrix and n is number of columns of the generator matrix next how to from this generator matrix how to obtain the parity check matrix h the first term uh, first uh, block or first bits will be of p of p transpose that means you have to do the transpose of this this block okay so triple one uh, don't consider it as a separate one only to uh, in uh, to distinguish between i k and p this line is drawn but this is a whole matrix of k into n four rows and seven columns so p t uh, because if you don't distinguish this you cannot uh, uh, obtain the transpose of parity bits so tr this this column 110 write it as row 110 this second column 0 triple 1 write it as second row then 1101 third row column as a row then after that here also here after this after this block there is uh, identity matrix of dimension n minus k n minus k is 3 so 100 zero zero, you write down it as as a identity matrix 100 zero zero, zero one zero, zero zero 001 so this is your h matrix you have to remember pt i n minus k n minus k into n n minus k into n is your dimension of parity check matrix that is 3 rows and 7 columns here also you can draw the line to distinguish between pt and I n minus k but th th that is a whole matrix let's take g x is equal to x q plus x square plus 1 so this is the generator matrix for this g x then i k then p k into n p for uh, to obtain h matrix h is equal to p t so 1 0 1 1 triple 1 0 then 0 triple 1 p t after that identity matrix of n minus k that is 3 by 3 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so other things are same you can obtain uh, g matrix from h also uh, here i will tell you how to obtain g matrix from h but that is not as in the university exam but still uh, pt that means for uh, to obtain the generator matrix you have to first write down ik this part you fill as a ik that means identity matrix of dimension 4 after that pt that means this 1011 row you have to write it as column this row as column this row as third column likewise